Hello everyone, so this video is going to be about the difference between unpatched and the latest patch in The Last of Us. Now, if you've watched me for a while, you know when I do my grounded speedruns, I do them unpatched, and there's a lot, there's quite a few reasons for that. Um, the main reason is the the patches, uh, the biggest difference is with AI patterns. They're more favorable unpatched, and that's also the case for easy as well. Um, However, if you're doing any percent, you have to do it on the latest patch because certain glitches will only work on patch 1.10. Uh, same goes for any percent. Uh, for Left Behind, the main glitch will only work on the latest patch. Uh, but to give you a little history with how we found these differences, for a long time we were playing on w patch 1.06. Everything was fine. And then, patch, and then a few years ago, patch 1.07 came in and that was PlayStation 4 Pro accommodation patch. Uh, like the frame rate enhancement, the screen resolution enhancement came in, and that ended up messing, the, messing up the AI. I remember warming up in slums, financial, and other places, and I'm just like, this is different, what's going on? The latest patch ended up effect negatively affecting these areas. So, that's when we decided, all right, you can do your speedruns unpatched, and then we, like, documented the differences. Um, so, yeah, this video is going to go over just about every single difference that we know of in this game. And the layout's going to look like this. We're going to go over everything unpatched, and then latest patch as well. Um, but also, if you want to play on because if you have a digital copy you can only play on the latest patch if you're if you do want to play unpatched and I highly prefer you play unpatched you'll see why throughout the video you need a physical copy and a way to unpatch the game is you go to storage applications you delete the game not the save data just the, just the physical game and then you pop the disc out of the PS4, you pop it back in, and then you open the game, and then you go into downloads, and you cancel the patch before it finishes installing. And that's how you play unpatched. Perfectly le legal. We don't separate uh, patches like with diff separate categories. There are pros and cons to both and personal preference to both. I know I prefer unpatched Uranto, uh, my closest competitor, he prefers the latest patch for all of his runs. But yeah, I think that's enough talk. Let's get right into patch differences, starting with the slums. All right, here we go. Uh, slums, this is the area where the enemy drop. there's three enemies to kill, and the last enemy drops the key. Now, all of these attempts are going to be done on grounded mode because that's my favorite category, favorite difficulty. And this video really is an expansion of the tutorial I put out a few months ago. So yeah, every single attempt for unpatched and latest patch will be done on grounded. So here's how you do the slums is supposed to be done on grounded. the wall. Perfect. Now, some variations that can happen is he's over here, he's shooting. over here. Like, that was good. That's what you want. You want to punch him and then punch him against the wall. Sometimes he's, like, running this way, but he's always somewhere in this area. Big, big plus of unpatched. Latest patch, however, is a different story. Let me show you. Okay, slums on the latest patch. Pay attention to the last enemy. That's the main difference here. So he should be behind one of these desks. Nope, he's outside. He's outside. That is, like, the main difference here. Really, really inconvenient. 
Because unpatched, we can kill the guy, like, right next to the door we have to hop out of. And we don't even have to use a bullet to kill him. Here, it's just... More like you saw, guys. real How big disadvantage. I'll show you what you can do. Guarantee that she and Joel are on their way here. But it's right still now not favorable. Robbery. Jesus. We shouldn't have taken this job. Not our call. Let's spread That's out and make sure no one's creeping around in here. Yes. Basically, what I would recommend is sh get a headshot right there, and then the key will drop. But yeah, let's search the area. That's the big uh, disadvantage here. He always hops outside. Super duper annoying. Okay, uh, on to the next area. Okay. So we're in the very next area in the slums, uh, the last part before the wharf, and this is what it's supposed to look like, unpatched. Hey, consolidated the crates in the south warehouse. Supplies are locked. Right, one enemy over here, one enemy over here. Now there's a lot of different variations you get up here. Sometimes there's an enemy right there, sometimes there's one right there. I got one there and there and you do it in that order. Sometimes there's a guy over here and then you get this guy over yeah, here. You're right. You can react to different stuff. Come on. The docks are but this way. Tess, I'm trying to talk. Let's do this. But what <laughs> But watch how the enemy alignments up here are on the latest patch. Alright, last section of the slums on the latest patch. Hey, so these bottom floor enemies uh, are the uh, same uh, as unpatched. Uh, it's these top floor enemies that are different every time. Alright, here's one. The other guy, I he's, he's right down there. <laughs> and I made another video about that. The bullet traveled through the stairs and did double damage on me. <laughs> but yeah, he's down there. <laughs> That's one thing. Let's do this a few times and just see what we get. He would never do that. Unpatched. Now, sometimes they act the same way as they do compared to unpatched. Oh, I think he's there again. Yep, right down there. There's the double damage thing. I missed. Yeah, he's, he's, he's down there. Something else that can happen, I'm going to see if he gets it the next time. Sometimes he takes cover right there, but he's facing this way. And it's so weird looking. Let me see. I'll do this one more time, see if I can get it. Hey, consolidated the crates in the south warehouse. Supplies are <laughs> All right, now see there. So they're pretty normal there. Let me do it one more time. Hey, you saw it in the crates in the south warehouse. Supplies. <laughs> Getting good practice, and that's for sure. Nah, all right, I can't get it. Uh, hold on a moment. I can actually find a video of it. Alright, I found it. Um, okay, watch this. Watch the enemies on the top floor. You <laughs> see, look at him right there. And then watch what happens when you headshot him. He just kind of flops. Look at him. You you'll never see him do this. Like, take cover in that way. Unpatched. Never, never, never. I think he's, like, stuck on the bottom part of the ledge. So when you headshot him, he kind of just flops there a little bit. So, yeah. Bottom line is... Latest patch. 
very weird in both parts of the slums. Yeah. Okay, on to the next one. So here we are in the cargo. We just ran past all the soldiers. And now we're going to crouch walk past Marlene. So what's, what's going to happen here is there's a visual thing. I'll make it. This has nothing to do with AI. It's just uh, a visual thing. The place is right up ahead. Attention. Curfew so is do, 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 do. We're going, we're going. Anyone caught outside without proper authorization. Notice how dark it is in here. It is really quite dark. Let me go over here. Joel, give me a hand with this. Yeah, everything, the lighting in here seems pretty good, pretty dim. But there, it's just sunlight, so... Seems pretty good. Let's see how this area looks on the latest patch, shall we? Alright, latest patch. Still crouch walking behind hey, Marlene. I'm running on fumes. I'll make it. We're gonna get into this next area here. The place now, see if you can notice the difference. Attention. Curfew is now in full effect. Shit, Anyone caught hurry. outside without proper authorization will be arrested. See it? Oh yes, after you. The light. The lighting is all off. It's weird. Oh, I gotta get up here. And the same thing is uh, through the doorway. See, I don't believe this light is here. The light shining through the door. Joel, give me a hand with this. I don't believe this is normally here either. See ya. Even over there, it's all lit up. See that? I, don't, I just don't think that's supposed to be there. So yeah. Some lighting issues. Next. Okay, so next up is the downtown train station. Uh, this is the section where I throw a brick and distract a clicker. That clicker is going to be the main difference in unpatched versus patched. So let's see how I do it. Let's see uh, how I do it normally. No matter what, you stay right on his heels. Sure. You stay sharp. So we have a brick. I got it. There's the clicker through that little window right there. Pay attention to him. You throw that brick to distract this clicker so he will move out of our way. Then we pick up this brick, and then we can stand, and then we go right for the ladder. And because we got really close to that clicker, that prevents the spawn of this clicker right here. We can go right for the ladder. So that clicker is close enough so we can distract it with a brick. That's the main point here. Watch how it's done on the latest patch. Alright, train station, latest patch. Pay attention to the clicker straight ahead of us. You stay sharp. There he is. He's already like 10 paces ahead compared to unpatched so we can't distract him watch what happens if we try and replicate the old strat he's right there so you can't distract him with the brick I'll show you something you can do I don't necessarily know it'll work as consistently but it's a way to get around it. As you can see, Unpatched is like clearly better for this section. God, we're almost out. The clicker ahead is already like six steps ahead of where he normally is. So he's too far away for the brick to distract him. Stay sharp. I got it. So again, what you can do here. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't, I don't know. Oh, 
Yeah, I guess you can do that, but like, it's way more tense. The unpatched strat works like so much better than that. But if you had to get through, that's a good way to do it. Yeah. Okay. Next area. All right. So next up is the subway in the capital. Now this one doesn't have to do with AI differences. This one is actually a visual difference. Uh, the subway looks different on different patches. I think the latest patch is a little bit more clean. Let me show you. Here we go. This is unpatched. It's almost got like a brownish tint to it. Visibility is very bad. How the hell are you breathing in this stuff? I wasn't lying to you. So we'll just take a look around. We'll do the normal strat and then we'll just have a look around. You spot him? No. Place is empty. There is this rat. I'll have the flashlight off. Just take a look. It's spores are very visible, but it's got like a brownish tint to it. I'll even go underwater and get to the other side. Here's a good view. So yeah, lock what this looks like in your memory, and let's take a look what it looks like on the latest patch, and you'll see what I mean. Okay, subway in the capital on the latest patch. Try and see the visual difference. After this, I'm going to put them both side by side, but see if you can notice it uh, right here. I think just everything is... The visibility is better. Everything is more clear, and there's a bit more of a greenish tint to the area. Let's see if you you guys can see it too. No target. I repeat, no target. There's a soldier over there. Copy that. How the hell are you breathing in this stuff? I wasn't lying to you. You spot him? No, the place is empty. I know you're here. Maybe you can notice it, maybe you can't. But it just feels like everything looks a little bit more clear. We'll figure something out. Let's get on the other side and see. Ellie? We see it just a little bit, just a little bit of a difference. Um, but yeah, that's the only patch difference here. I'm gonna put them side by side so you can maybe, uh, see it better. Let's take a look. Alright, pay attention to the colors. This is a better way to show it off here. I'm going to full screen this, and then they're going to play side by side. Place is empty. I know you're here. You can see it. The left just looks a bit more brown. The right looks a bit more green. It's really just better lit. We'll figure something out. I should have done this in the first place. You can really tell the difference here. Isn't that bizarre? The visibility is just overall better on the right. We'll, we'll never know if this is something that they put in intentionally or not. But look at it. Interesting, huh? I just happened to notice that 
you know, playing unpatched and latest patch. I don't know. I, I think that stuff's kind of cool. All right. That's it. On to the next one. So I'm jumping around a little bit here, but um, just like the capital with the visual differences between the patches, the same thing applies after the first enemy encounter in Pittsburgh. So watch this. Lock the visuals in your, in your memory banks. So here we go. I hit triangle, restart encounter, then it sends you right here. Now just pay attention to what everything looks like. All right. Here's the bridge. That's our way out of here. Hey, Ellie. Slow down. Wait for me. What? Right here. How about you let me go first? Okay, that's good. Keep your voice down. Now, okay. see if you can notice the difference on the latest patch. Okay. So, let's see if you can spot the visual difference in Pittsburgh. Latest patch. Uh, but before I do that, I want to show you something that always ha that it's always there in my in my speedruns whether it's on the latest patch or unpatched it doesn't matter but when you're finished with the coal mine fight there's always like a little blue screen right here so right there every single one of my runs this blue screen is here and what this does is it kinda casts a blue tint or hue to like the background like this part right here there's always like a bluish look to everything the only reason I'm mentioning this right there the only reason I'm mentioning this is because there's actually something very similar right here on the latest patch I think they changed up the color in this part of Pittsburgh in a very similar way after the coal mine so Let's take a look, and then I'll do like I did in Capital, put them side by side. Right there. Did you see it? And then putting this side by side. It may not be as clear, like, once we're outside. But right there, All you right. saw there was like a bluish That's our way out of here. hue to it. Hey, Ellie, slow down. And I think I looked Wait over here. What? Right here. Just to see everything. How about you let me go first. So again, it may not be as as clear right here, but there was a little tiny blue screen when I restarted encounter after opening the door. It wasn't there on unpatched, but it was there here on the latest patch. Now, again, just like capital, let's put the two side by side, and it might be just a little bit more clear. Okay. So side by side, let's see if we can see a difference. I know you're going to see a difference in like the blue and bluish black screen thing, but let's just take a look. All right, so it's a, it's harder to see a difference like right here. All right. Actually, I don't know if I see any difference, really. Hey, Ellie, slow down. Wait for me. I swear I see one when it comes to. How about you? Let me go first. And keep your voice down. Uh, when it comes to. Like unpatch versus latest patch, when I see it on my screen, but. Yeah, looking at it now, I guess I don't really see a difference. The one difference I do see is right here when it transitions. See the the screens right here. But as for what it looks like right here, just a little bit further. I don't really know I can see a difference. There probably is. Maybe if you like look on a bigger, more clear monitor or something. But I, I think there's just a, a, a tint difference, just like in Capital. The transition screen is definitely different. You got the blue. But yeah, that's uh, 
That's about it for there. It's something. <laughs> I'm trying to include everything. So yeah, uh, let's move on. All right, so here we are in the last section of Graveyard. It's the outside the high school part. Now, the strat here is I pretend to go for the garage door so Bill will move quicker and then I get some stuff upstairs. And as a result, not only does that make Bill move faster, uh, but it delays the spawn of all the infected. So here, we'll do that. I think we're good for now. So we pretend going. That speeds up Bill. We have time to get the stuff up here. We're all fine. Let's just keep going. And the triangle prompt shows up right now. So a very good strat. Now watch when the enemies spawn in. They spawn in right about now. What I tell you. And then you can see them walking around. Truck sticking out of the school right there. Come on. Now let me do the. Uh, the strat that I know how to do real quick. This probably won't be pretty. <laughs> and we're fine. I'm showing this off for a reason. Oh, William. They must be holed up somewhere else. Well, let's not test our luck. Okay. How do we get inside? It's right here. So, unpatched, the triangle prompt is a little bit harder to open the side window of the high school. Don't get killed up there. Thanks, Bill. So what I usually do is run off the right side of the bus. But let me show you what happens if I just try and go right okay. as fast as we I can to, get to, the hood of the truck. to the window. Unpatched. There's no triangle prompt. There's no triangle prompt. And then it works. But sometimes, sometimes, you saw it right there. I climbed up, tried to hit triangle. You need to back away and then climb up again for it to work. Um, sometimes that triangle prompt takes forever to, uh, to show up. And I mean forever. One time I had like a gold graveyard and then I lost like nine or 10 seconds because the triangle prompt would not show up. It had to do with how I, I, uh, fell off of the bus, but that's an unpatched thing. Let's show you, uh, both things on the latest patch now. Outside the high school. Latest patch. I think we're good. Let's go. We gotta do just like before, faking towards the garage door to speed Bill up a little bit, going upstairs. Getting the stuff just like before. We're all fine, let's just keep going. Now the latest patch difference is going to be these enemies will spawn in much later. Like unpatched, they spawn in right about now. What I tell you. Latest patch. There's that truck. They're still not spawned in, so it's delayed by, like, a long time. And they finally spawn in right about now. And it's actually later when you approach this area from... Or when you... Hold on. It's actually later... When you're doing a run from the beginning of the game. The fact that I'm loading in a file. Loading in a file means that their spawn time is going to be a little different. But if you were doing a run from the very beginning of the game, the spawn time would be even later than that. Therefore, I'm, I'm, I'm declaring that latest patch is actually an advantage right here outside the high school because you know by the time they spawn in you're like almost between the two buses in the back and bill will follow you he won't get distracted by infected um so yeah big advantage here 
And also, what I ended the previous part with, um, getting inside the high school is also a little bit easier. Don't get killed up there. Thanks, Bill. You know, just gotta give him a little space on the ladder. Okay. But on the latest patch, we you don't even to have to think about it. Truck. You can just go right for the window, and the triangle prompt will be waiting for you. And as you saw, I did the exact same thing before, but it took me two climbs for the triangle prompt to show up. So, yeah. Big delay of spawn leads to a big advantage uh, for this area. It's, it's about... That's one of the few advantages of the latest patch, though. There's, a, there's like one other clear advantage, but we'll talk about that later. But yeah, pretty fascinating stuff. And, yeah, let's go on to the next one. All right, so here we are at the start of Pittsburgh. This, in my opinion, is the biggest disadvantage to uh, the latest patch. And I'll show you why in a second. But first, take a look at how the enemies react when you start the section unpatched. Watch out! So I'm going to do my normal strap, but pay attention to the enemies. Stay down! Three of them are rushing me. And then... They're just all right there. And then this guy is in a pretty predictable spot as well. And then if you restart encounter, again, they, they're a little different, but notice they're all rushing you. All of them. And just to show it off again... This is the key. They're all running straight at you, making headshots. Pretty easy. Relatively easy. The headshot registrations in this game really suck. But easier. Latest patch is a completely different story. Start of Pittsburgh, latest patch. Instead of them all rushing me... Watch out! Stay down! They all take cover to the right, except for this one guy. Look at them all back there. There's still another guy back there. There's a guy with a gun back there. Oh, he's over there. This guy's still over here. Where's he going? I don't, I don't think he knows where he is. Here he comes. Oh. Yeah, it's it's a mess. Instead of them all rushing me, they just all take cover to the right. It's it's bizarre how this section could vary that much between patches. But yeah, this is like a huge disadvantage. If I had to come up with a strat to do this, uh, off the top of my head, it'd probably look like this. One. And then come over here. I think I saw him over here. And then come over here for these guys. And then you would be in time. But yeah, just that would be the strat. But just huge disadvantage. You can't get headshots with the pistol from this far. I can't even get him from, from that far. That was lucky. But yeah. Latest patch, start of Pittsburgh. Just... It's so weird. I would love to ask a Naughty Dog dev if they actually know about this. And which one they actually intended to be in the game. Because they're like polar opposites, what they do. Oh well. Next. Alright, here we are in the hotel basement. This one's going to be really easy to show off. So, unpatched, when you're done with the hotel basement... There's a bloater behind me. Watch this. I'm sprinting. Look at me, do 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 I'm sprinting. I am sprinting, do 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 Going so fast. Sprinting, sprinting, sprinting. I'm just going to keep showing this off. I am able to sprint right here. And you can even sprint into here. Um... So after the hotel basement, let's look what happens on the latest patch. 
It'll be quick. Hotel basement on the latest patch. Ignore the fact that there's a giant bloater behind me and just watch. You can't sprint. That's the that's a big disadvantage here. You lose around seven or eight seconds. You can't sprint. It wasn't because of the bloater, it's just how that's just a patch difference. Overall, you do lose around seven or eight seconds not being able to sprint. And then you can start sprinting again once you get in here. But even then, you have to let go, then hold it back down. Highly inconvenient. Completely avoided by playing unpatched. Okay. Next. Okay. Here we go for the financial district fight. Now, the main difference here is the enemies that... The first wave of enemies that come out between the two trucks in the background and also the Molotov guy to my right. Pay attention to, to uh, those enemies uh, between the trucks in the back and the Molotov guy. Pay attention to, the, uh, to them. Here we go. This is unpatched financial district. So that's normal. Pay attention to these guys. Perfect. He's behind there. Get him. Get him. Two. Absolutely perfect. If I can get that in a run, I'll be very happy. All right, come on down. But it was these enemies right here, you know it off. I do. and then this guy. Okay, you can still see the flames. He, he's either you know behind he's there, or he is behind there. Okay. And you can body shot him when he's getting ready to throw a Molotov. Um, and then these four were all bunched together. Let's look at latest patch. Latest patch financial district. Again, the four enemies in the back... They spawn in a little differently, and they do different things on the latest patch, but it's honestly not that noticeable. Uh, the main difference is the Molotov guy to my right. He's either behind the dumpster down the alley or behind the door. Let's uh, let's take a look. Hey, kill him! Well, he's there. That that's not like a major difference. Okay, but uh, um right away, that Molotov guy to the left, he tried to take cover behind the gate. That never happens. He never ever does that. He normally always runs forward. So that is a difference right there. That Molotov throw was terrible. Let me see what this guy's do. Where where's this guy? Uh, yeah, he's all the way back there. He's supposed to be over there. So, yeah. Big-ass difference. Uh, let me do that again, though. That was an absolute mess. Let's, uh, try it again. Before he was running down the alley. He's in the window there. There he is taking cover behind the, the fence again. Good throw. Alright, he's in a bit of a more normal position. However, now this guy. He was like... Ow. He was a bit back there. I'm actually kind of surprised that the Molotov guy was in a relatively normal spot. I'm going to do it uh, one more time. One more try. We've already seen a few weird things. The first attempt was weird. Second attempt, there was some weirdness. The Molotov guy is taking cover behind the gate, the left gate there, and he never does that. He never does that. And then this guy, I never know where he's going to be. Latest patch financial is just a mixed bag of RNG. Cover behind the gate. 
All right, yeah, that's the other thing. Oh, he's over there. Damn it. All right, whatever. I'm not worried about performance. Um. That's. You're gonna burn. No, don't burn me. That's the other one that's probably the most frequent. Is this guy is right over here. So when I'm over here, literally right there, he can come up and punch me, or do other things. But yeah, him being here is a pretty frequent occurrence for the latest patch. But yeah, you've seen it can act normal. It can act really abnormal. And I don't even know what this guy was doing. It's different, and not for the better. But yeah, that's latest patch financial. Next. Okay, so here we are at the end of the searchlight, as you can see. Now, there's no main patch difference with this fight right here. The only patch difference is this next enemy coming up. Now, watch how I take him out unpatched. And also, watch how he moves. He's going to run left, and then he's going to run right. Making it pretty easy to hit him with an arrow. Run left. Wait, wait, wait. And then run right. That's why I arrow him there. It's uh, really easy to read his movement. Let's see if he does it again. He does. Wait, wait, wait. Runs left. Get him. Runs right. One more time. Wait, wait, wait. And over there. Get him. And then over there. Oh, no. Making shooting him very easy. Um. Let's see latest patch. All right. End of searchlight. Henry, latest Henry, patch. Henry. Let's right. see what the enemy does. Right. I'm going to try and do like my normal strat with the arrow. It'll probably miss him because the enemy does something different. Let's uh let's see. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, they're over here. Yeah, and missed him. So watch what he does. Normally he runs right, then left. Here he wait, runs wait, left, wait. then turns around, then runs right, gets stuck on the wall, then turns around. I think he even has time to shoot me. See, if I want to arrow him... Wait, wait, wait. Who the fuck is that? I guess I still can, but it's clear as day. He does something different. Remember, it's left, then right. Here it's left, wait, wait, wait. turn around, hey, then right, then get stuck on the wall, then turn around. So, yeah. I guess the way to do it is aim where I was going to aim. Just shoot it later. Yeah, I guess. It's much easier to hit him. Previous patch. Uh, uh, unpatched with the arrow. If you want, normally you can just shoot him. That makes it a little easier. But yeah, it is a patch difference. So I'm just trying to highlight everything. And that's it. Next. Okay, here we are at the end of the sewers. Um, the only patch difference here has to do... Um, this area right here. Come on. Sam and Ellie are trying to open the door. And you gotta hold off five... Well, it's an infinite spawn of infected, but they, they pop in five at a time. Um... The only patch difference here is when they first start moving. The first wave hops down, and then they start running towards you. Unpatched, they're alerted to you later. Here, watch. Oh. I'm going to do my clicker freeze thing. And that's really because I have time to. Get ready. And then they start moving. See that? You don't have that kind of time on the latest patch. Let me show you again. So unpatched, they hop down, they walk around for a little bit, Joel says, get ready, and then they start coming towards you. Make it fast. So here, I won't swing at them this time. You saw that second clicker I swung at. He was kind of walking around. He wasn't hitting me. But pay, but pay attention when they, like, officially start walking towards me. Not until get ready. Um, okay, so let's see how that looks on the latest patch. All right, latest patch at the end of sewers, and like I was saying before, the main difference is 
on the latest patch, the enemies will like actually be here much earlier. They'll react to me much earlier. Long before Joel says, get ready. So I'm going to try and do the same thing as I did before, freezing the clickers. Here we go. Got him. And you probably saw that a little bit right, right there. When I was doing it unpatched, I had time to swing at that clicker. He was just kind of walking around and I swung at him. That clicker was already, already flailing his arms. Long before Joel said, get ready. All right, now I'm going to just stand here. And you'll notice they're going to start running at me before Joel says, get ready. Here it comes. See that? The runners didn't get a chance to hop down. Let me do it one more time, see if I can get the runners to hop down earlier. But you can clearly see it. It's just all ha the fight's ha starting, officially, much sooner. Let's see if we can get a runner to hop down quick. Of course they're not. <laughs> Damn thing stuck. Here, give me a boost. Try it again. I can get through that window. Make it fast. Come on. Go. Just looking for a runner first. Here we go. There's that clicker. And it was already running at me. So you sort of get it. It's uh, not a huge difference, but like maybe two or three second difference in terms of when they start running at you. Which basically means on the latest patch, I would not personally feel comfortable freezing either clicker. So yeah, latest patch difference. Uh, they're a little quicker to respond to you. So yeah, next. All right, here we are hunting the deer, the start of winter. Now the layout's different because the main patch difference isn't with the hunting the deer, it's with the loading screen when you start the coal mine fight. So I hit the deer once using my really quick first shot. Shot it a second time, just like my normal strat. And there's no difference between the patches hunting the deer. It has to do with the loading screen of starting the coal mine fight. So as soon as the cutscene starts, I'm going to time it to show you. So again, patch difference here is the time of the loading screens. What is this place? You just got to get there. All right, I'll start the timer as soon as the cutscene oh, starts. Everything's cool. This place is not creepy. Here we go. Oh. You can skip cutscene, whatever. Twelve and a half second loading screen. Twelve and a half seconds. Um, yeah, let's time it for the latest patch. Okay. I know this, will t this, this is going to take a little while to get there, but I just want to show you that I'm not like doing anything differently. We're on the latest patch, and we're doing the deer. I just hit it one time, and I'm able to get really close to hit it the second time. And once again, we're going to time how long the loading screen takes. Oh, man. Just want to let everyone know, like, I'm doing the deer the way I do it in my speedruns. I'm not doing anything differently. So we had a 12 and a half second long loading screen. Unpatched, which is pretty typical. And we're going to time it here. I wish Ellie would run a little faster. What is this place? Oh, great. OK. 
Okay. Everything's cool. This has nothing to do with doing it from the beginning of the game versus loading in a file. It's the same pretty much every time. Four and a half, basically. So there's an eight second difference in loading screens, unpatched versus the latest patch. So big advantage here. The way I kind of look at it is, you know, the time you lose in the hotel basement, like after you're done with the hotel basement, you can't sprint. So that's around a seven or eight second time loss. You gain that time back by not getting the loading screen here. So it's a bit of a wash. But yeah, this is a, a time difference. Or uh, this is a big uh, patch difference. Nothing else in the fight is different, though. And someone else mentioned it, but sometimes you're able to get the four-second loading screen unpatched. Since I've upgraded my equipment to the PS4 Pro with a solid-state drive in it, I've never, ever gotten the four-second loading screen unpatched. However, uh, when I used to do my speedruns on a normal PS4 with the hard disk drive that it came with, I would occasionally get the four-second loading screen unpatched. So I think there's something with either the original PlayStation 4 or with just being a, having a hard disk drive. You can get the four-second loading screen if you're playing on that hardware unpatched sometimes. Because personally, I've never gotten four-second loading screen unpatched since I've upgraded. But on the latest patch, you don't have to worry about that, no matter the hardware. But yeah, that's always been a thing. And yeah, next. Okay, here we are in winter as soon as Joel wakes up. Uh, the main patch difference is the fourth enemy that we kill right here. It's much easier unpatched, just like everything else in this video. Three. All right, now let's pay attention to the fourth enemy. Sometimes we don't have to kill him. The strat is, if he's in the middle of the street, we have to kill him because then he's going to try and shoot us right away. If he takes cover behind the crate to the right, we can keep running with him and we'll be fine. So what do we get here? He's taken cover behind the crate. That right there is an unpatched advantage. Because then he just won't hurt us. Then we can keep going. Let's do it one more time. Ooh, I headshot him. Where is she? Now, he can sometimes still be in the middle of the, of the street. But it's more likely he's going to take cover behind the crate. So let's see. Yep, there he goes, right there. If he does that, you can just keep going. Keep running. Come on. Don't worry about it. You're gonna tell me. That bullet just triggers in the dialogue. Uh, yeah. Let's take a look at latest patch. Okay, latest patch. Uh, these three enemies are still the same. It's identical. The main difference is going to be with the fourth guy. So unpatched, he took cover behind the crates twice, which makes it very convenient. But here, on the latest patch, most of the time, and you can still get that unpatched, but most of the time he's right here instead of over there, which means you have to kill him before he shoots you. And then you, you can still run. You can ignore the guys behind you. But... Yeah, that happens. On the latest patch, that seems to happen like a majority of the times. Where Whereas she? unpatched, it's a rarity, but can still happen. It's almost like the odds are flip-flopped. Let's see what we get here. What's he going to do? All right, it looks like he's going to be in the middle of the street again. <laughs> Behind the fence. <laughs> I don't need to show you anymore. <laughs> That's just way more likely to happen. And he would never be behind the fence on the uh, unpatched. So yeah, big difference. Next. All right, and the last patch difference in Last of Us that I know of is when you play as Ellie running through the town. 
That section is notorious for being like the glitchiest part of the run. But just like almost everything else in this video, it's a little more stable unpatched. Let me show you again how it's supposed to look and pay attention to specifically the first set of enemies. That's the main difference. Good. There's two alert sounds there. And then come out, you coward. And then this guy walks forward. And then this guy is to the left. And then the strat is like you've seen me do it like a bunch of times. So that was a perfect performance in Unpatched. And then I get to the end, restart encounter, or do the new David thing. And then it's all good. That's 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 perfect right there. Latest patch, however. Okay, so Ellie running through the town on the latest patch. Whatever happens, I do have a way to make this next section behave normally. But let me show you what happens if we try and do the same thing as what we just did in Unpatched. There's some sound effects that are different. What is wrong with these people? I need a gun. Yes, here we go. So it's normal so far. Son of a bitch! Come on, Annie! This is my town. Get her! That's a big difference right there. To my knowledge so far... Alright, that guy's off to the right. I think that might be uh, a patch difference right there. He might be over there more frequently. Oh, God. I wasn't expecting that. Alright, I'm definitely screwed. Wow. Made it. Okay, yeah. That guy was to the right of the building instead of to the left. And then you got the alerts happening in different... Uh, uh, different times running past those first enemies. You could just hear a difference. Alright, another thing that can happen, and it's not going to happen here... Okay, um... The David thing can happen no matter what, but... Sometimes, what can happen is you hit triangle right here and nothing happens. David doesn't spawn inside, he doesn't spawn outside, nothing happens. And then, so your soft lock, triangle prompt's gone, nothing happens. But you can still move around. If you were to restart encounter, the game takes you all the way back to where you move the crate. Where she's like, I need a gun, David's shooting at you. That there is a chance of that happening on the latest patch, which does not happen unpatched. Now, as you saw, where because that was like I tried to duplicate my unpatched strat, and it just didn't work. You could hear the timing of the alerts were different, the placement of the enemies were way different. It's a mess. A way to fix both of those things the triangle soft lock sending you back and the weird enemies is to do this we gotta get there first but yeah so regardless without doing anything weird and trying to duplicate the strats big difference in the patches so a way to make this section behave normally as soon as you're able to move Ellie after opening the door, right? There. Restart encounter. It places you right here. And we should be good to go. Should be. Oh, fuck! Holy shit! Yeah. That's normal.
This guy isn't there. He's over there. And he's turning that way. And then it's the exact same thing as unpatched. So if you try and do the unpatched strat on the latest patch, you're going to get screwed really badly. But if you're doing the latest patch, all you got to do is do that restart encounter and you can do the unpatched strats. So yeah, patch difference, but there is a remedy. Thank God. So yeah, next. All right, and the last patch difference is actually in Left Behind. Uh, the only patch difference when you're playing this game uh, is right here in the first section of the game. We're still fucking there. It has to do with being able to sprint. Okay, so unpatched right here. We can sprint. We're sprinting, we're sprinting. Look at us go, right here. All the way to the stairs. This is Ellie's sprinting animation. Here we go. And then there you go. Latest patch. Hmm. Right, here we go. Latest patch, like I said. Alright, so watch. Right here. We were able to sprint, but now... It's a, it's a it's a jog, which costs you around three seconds overall. This is still a decently paced running animation, but it's not sprinting speed. It's nothing you can do to change it. It's just a patch difference. Here we go. Yeah, there you go. Wish you would go a little faster. So yeah, that, believe it or not, that's the only patch difference in Left Behind. It's weird. You would think with the final fight and the the truck room with the stalkers. No. Exactly the same. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. But I do have an honorable an honorable mention that I should put uh, at the end. So let's go to that. Alright, this is the last one. And I think this technically qualifies as a patch difference. So unpatched under display. Y the only options you get are brightness and uh, FPS options. Ugh. On the latest patch on a normal PlayStation 4, you get the HDR and that's it. Now, unpatched on the PlayStation 4 Pro, you also get just brightness and frame rate. However, on the latest patch, on the PlayStation 4 Pro, you're given PS4 Pro enhancements. Um, and one prioritizes frame rate, the other prioritizes screen resolution. So if you have a good enough monitor, this will do 1800p at 60fps, this will do 1080p at a good 60fps. I prefer frame rate for a couple reasons. One, Take a look at the reticle. You know, it's better shown off with the shotgun. Look at the size of the reticle. Decently sized. Let's change it to screen resolution. Do you see it? You know what? Let's make the screen a little bigger. You see it? it? The reticle is thinner when screen resolution is prioritized. Let's use a different gun. See it now? You can even tell right there. Isn't that weird? There's even one here. Look at the circles surround, not the straight lines, but the circles 
surrounding the red dot. They're so much thinner when screen resolution is selected. Isn't that weird? Again, this is only possible on the latest patch with a PS4 Pro. But that's technically a patch difference. <laughs> I think so. Uh, I took a bunch of screenshots when I was doing this. Uh, where do they start? Right here. Which direction are we going? Okay. So take a look. This is frame rate. Which is a normal reticle size. And this is screen resolution. See it? I was doing New Game Plus runs, which I do on the latest patch. And it was it was bugging me. What's di I was missing all my shots for the first like hour. I'm just like, what the hell is different? And I just noticed the reticle was thinner, and I didn't know why. I didn't change it to frame rate, prioritize frame rate. And this is with almost every gun, mind you. Pistol. Like fully expanded. Thin, thick. This is screen resolution, this is frame rate. And the shotgun to me was the most noticeable. Frame rate, screen resolution. It's like it got a haircut or something. <laughs> Bizarre. And this is with it fully expanded. So you, you can just tell. That's screen resolution, that's frame rate. And honestly, I really preferred the thicker reticle. The thin one was throwing me off so much I could barely see it. That reticle needs a little weight to it. Uh, El Diablo. This one has the thinnest reticle, so you can, like, really tell the difference. I definitely prefer it thicker. Oh, and here you can really tell, like, the, the circle. The horizontal and vertical lines are the same. But it, the circle. That's screen resolution, that's frame rate. And then that's that. Yeah, I, I, I can tell right away. I mean, sometimes you just can't... Like, if you're trying to get a a, a, a difficult shot... I remember with, it was hardest with the pistol for some reason. I don't know, it, it just became more difficult. The thicker reticle is just so much better. So yeah, I'll leave it unpaused. I hope you all learned something today. The patch differences in this game. And closing thoughts, let's see. Uh, I don't know, I don't really have any. <laughs> this video took like five hours to make. I had to record everything unpatched and then re-record everything on the latest patch and then piece it together. It was, uh, it was tough. But, oh my gosh. My game just froze! <laughs> Apparently Neil doesn't like me messing with the reticle sizes. <laughs> Everyone, play unpatched if you can, okay? I don't think they knew exactly what they did when they patched in all the PS4 Pro accommodations. Play unpatched. Again, you have to play on the latest patch if you're doing any percent for both Last of Us and Left Behind. But if you're not doing any percent, play unpatched. It's better. My god. <laughs>